Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can match up two lists. So first of all, I want to find out if these patient IDs exist in this attendee list. And if they do, I then want to match them across, so sort them basically so they are next to each other. Now to do that, I need to do an, another column. So I'm just going to call it order. And then I'm going to use the match match function I'll just name this list actually call it attend so let's have a look at the match function so what that does the match function it looks at a reference to see if it's in the list if it's there it'll come back with a position it is in the list and then if it's not there it'll come back with na so let's have a look so th these lists they, they exist but they're just not next to each other so I'll go equals match press tab to open the bracket so i'm looking at that cell comma i'm looking at the arrange called attend which i've just named comma zero i want an exact match closing the bracket and clicking the tick so c1 is in the fourth position of this list there it is fourth let us pull that down c2 is in the third position a1 is in the tenth position and so on and so on but they're not matching each other at the moment they're not lined up so what I want to do is do a quick sort so that it brings them in in sequence if you like if I go to the sort option and pick the column that I want to sort by order and then cell values smallest smallest to largest click OK and then C4 C4 C3 C3 and so on and so on now they're all in order, all matched up, all sequenced. Now that works fine if everything is equal. What happens if there's something actually missing? So let's just delete C1 from there and C4 from there. So what I need to do now is this. I need to sort this in order. Let's just do that sort that just go a to z it's going to come up with expand no just sort that and then i can repeat the process with these two sort by order okay and then what it's done is a1 a1 to a2 a3 everything's linked up c1 and c4 are not in this list and it says na at the bottom so you could then get up here and use the if error if you wanted to if error just to put something there instead of na so at the end of that i'll just do a a comma and type the word missing or something like that and close that bracket now i seem to have an extra bracket there so i'll get rid of that take that one double click it down so it puts the word missing in there but you've still got this lined up so the process is you need to insert a column use the match function to see whether that is in this list if it is it'll tell you the position if it isn't it comes back with na so you can use the if error then if you've got missing items you'll have to sort this list so they're in the right order, so the blanks are at the bottom, and then you can resort this list using um, the order column, and then everything should line up. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time, I'll catch you in the next one.